Apple finally showed off their iPhone 15 and in this video let's talk about some of the things that you might have missed in the launch. First let's talk about USB Type-C. If you follow tech news even a little bit then you already have known before the launch that Apple will use USB Type-C and will ditch their lightning cable because EU finally came out with a law that all major electronics have to have USB Type-C connection. So Apple had to implement it but what Apple didn't told you that USB Type-C on the iPhone 15 is not the same USB Type-C on the iPhone 15 Pro. Why? Because USB Type-C on the iPhone 15 follows USB 2.0 specification and the 15 Pro follows the USB 3.0 specification. Now what's the difference? The difference is going to be on the data transfer rate, not in the charging rate or anything. And for a lot of people, especially who are buying the iPhone 15, they won't have that much issue. But if you are a pro user, if you are gonna use your iPhone 15 Pro's new camera feature, well, then you need USB Type-C 3.0. Why iPhone 15 doesn't have the USB? Because the A16 Bionic, the A16 Bionic, which is a last year flagship chip, this year's iPhone 15 non-pro variants. Now that doesn't have any USB 3.0 controller or anything. So that might be the reason. And the newly A17 Pro chipset on the iPhone 15 Pro has a USB 3.0. Now I'm going to talk A17 chipset uh, later on the video. Now let's talk about iPhone 15 the non-pro variant well it's just a repackaging of last year's iphone 14 pro in a non-pro 15 variant now if that sounded confusing you get almost every single feature that you are getting with the iphone 14 pro lineup with this year's iphone 15. Now there are some features missing like a telephoto camera but honestly the iphone 14 telephoto camera was there just to be a uh, for a telephoto camera and honestly it doesn't have a huge zoom range but you are not missing a telephoto camera because you are getting a 2x optical zoom now they are cropping their 48 megapixel main sensor into the 12 megapixel sensor so that's how they are getting uh, the 2x zoom now there are also some other smart features about the camera like smart portrait where Every single picture that you're gonna take will be a portrait picture. Now you have the option to use the portrait or use the background blur in your picture while you are taking the shot or after you took the shot. Even you have a smart refocus or smart focus where after taking a picture you can change the focus point. But all in all, I think iPhone 15 is a good choice for people using the XR or 11, 12. If you have a 13 or 13 Pro, I don't think that at least the non-pro variant makes a lot of sense. Yes, it has a lot of smart features, that's true, but it doesn't a uh, game-breaking or genre-defining smartphone. Now let's talk about the Pro variant. And it's A17 Pro chip. It is a very powerful chip. It is based on TSMC's cutting edge three nanometer. It has more CPU power, more GPU power. Now, I don't want to talk about CPU power and all the uh, CPU CPU dependent computational thing that they are doing, but I want to talk about the GPU power because the thing that they have showed using Metal, the Gen Genshin Impact demo, it looked amazing. And not only that, some PC games like Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil Village are coming to iPhone. And not only that, Ubisoft is porting over their Assassin's Creed Mirage to iPhone. And why I think this is a big deal and why, and I don't know why not a lot of people are talking about it. If companies like Ubisoft, because Love it or hate it, Ubisoft is still a big AAA game dev company. And if they're porting over their flagship game over to iPhone, that tells you that this phone has a lot of performance. So Nintendo Switch and Valve Stream Deck has a new competition which not only can play games but it also can make phone calls and do other phone stuff. And it also has a great camera, the main sensor on the iPhone 15 has hugely improved according to Apple. Now you also get a um, much better telephoto camera, but if you want a telephoto camera, then you should go to the iPhone 15 Pro Max where you get a 5X optical telephoto camera. But honestly, I'm gonna stress this thing out. If after this phone's launch, a game publisher starts to port over the flagship game or even AA games to metal, then iPhone 15 is 
gonna be the best gaming smartphone that there is. And talking about best, it used titanium and grade 5 titanium, which is much stronger than raw titanium. So this titanium frame not only makes your phone or iPhone 15 Pro lighter, it also makes it look really premium and as I said, it's durable. But one thing is just the frame outside. You still have a glass sandwich and glass is glass. If your phone falls like this, there is a much, much better chance that your screen will break. But if it drops down like this, then the surviving rate of that phone goes high and high. Now you have a lot of features in this iPhone 15 Pro lineup. You have spatial video by recording those spatial video when you get your uh, their uh, what's their calling Vision Pro. Yes, when you get their Vision Pro, you will be able to sit there, put your Vision Pro and enjoy that. All in all, to cram it up, the iPhone 15 Pro looks like a generational upgrade even if you have a iPhone 14 Pro. And if you are using any later iPhone than iPhone 14 Pro well boy this is the great time to upgrade yes they didn't decrease the price they didn't increase the price but one thing that I was hoping for that the base variant will start from 256 gigabyte at least on the pro version but no it still starts from 128 gigabytes and if you want to go to 256 gigabytes which I think you should because all of that camera feature and all of that uh, densely or detailed images will take up a lot of storage so you have to shell out a little bit money and if you want to get the latest and greatest they get an iPhone 15 Pro Max man that thing looks good it's bigger and honestly at least for this year I can say it's bigger and better so this is a short highlight or what I thought that what are the most important or the most impressive thing that they showed off on the live event yes there were a lot of other things like the new satellite uh, features and a bunch of other things which few of them were specifically for US and few of them which are not that much important at least not for me and yes they also launched their new Apple Watch it now has on device CD and it has a powerful SIP that means system on in package it's uh, a fancier and a complex term for SOC 